Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is going to be um, like our demonstration of how we put together our Graco Pack and Play nearby napper. A lot of reviews that we read on this of the instructions suck, and I was hoping that maybe putting how we assembled it out in a video might help somebody. So. So we're going to skip that because this pack and play has different height settings. So we're actually going to raise the, I'm pretty sure, we're going to raise the uh, mattress height up so it's higher just because. Okay. Pull the strap through the bottom of the play yard and wrap around the tube and refasten the snap. Right. So we would do that and it comes through these little snaps here, which you probably can't even see, and they go through holes that are right here. In my finger, can you see it? Perfect. But like I said, we're not going to do that just yet, so. Um, you will need to remove the mattress pad from the bottom of the play yard to use inside your bassinet. What? Keep going. Insert the tapered end of the bar into the other bar with the hole in it. Repeat it with the other set of bars. I'm starting to see why the instructions oh, suck yeah. on this thing. <laughs> Oh. So this is the adjustable height part. Oh. Which. I'm going to take the pad out of the bottom. Yeah. Taking the pad back out. Oh. Moving out of the way. So this right here is the adjustable height. So you got to assemble it. These two little poles here go together. I'm supposed to do that and once go together. It's in it. Huh? You're supposed to do that once it's in there. I think it's in there. Now you gotta put it back. Get it backwards. Okay. So what we're gonna do is put, bring these little these little clips on the sides here. Take them up over the bars. And then, and then, same over here. These guys just clip with a little bit of pressure right over the edge, all the way around. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Oh. Now what? The inside now looks like that. Yeah, it's half the height. Two screws from the back of the electronics module. This is a sound player. 
It doesn't have batteries right now. Um, this side or this side? Um, it doesn't, it just has a, oh, it goes over this part. Oh, that makes more sense. And then put the pad in the middle. Now we're back to the pad. The pad here, when you're putting it on the bottom, wrapping around the poles, you see these little clips here? That's what goes through the holes. These are just to hold it shut. The other, or when you have it raised like this, instead of putting these on, there's a Velcro spot here. Let's see, Velcro, Velcro. And those stick down to it. Yep, done. Now we got the pad in. Next step. Uh, changing pad, changing table. This is the changing table. Which one is it he's using? This one. This one with the little legs on it. The one a similar size without the legs on it. So what I'm doing, this is the underside of the mat. The one the one with the legs. And the fatter side here. I'm going to slide it in all the way. All the way across to the other side. Pull it out. That'll hang it like that. Turn it around and use the other one to go in the same way. <laughs> Before you get all situated there. Make sure you thread the right ends. In the end, these guys will go together. So you gotta make sure, as my wife pointed out, have the wrong ends. To thread them the right way. I think Theo likes it so far, he's happy. <laughs> and put these little Guys, I'm sorry, it's so far away from the camera. I don't know if it's easy to see this one with the little. Ooh. See, there's a hole sticking out of one side. Not this side. This is smooth. But there's a hole sticking out of that side. So you take that guy and slide it onto one end so the holes are both sticking out. All right. And you Grab the two ends, put them together, push that little button right here down, click them in, and then slide that guy over, and then it's locked in. And when you're done with that part, remember where these two things are? We're gonna put little rods in them. Short tubes. So there's two of these little guys. All right. So we put the little, put the little this thingy on the side with the hole, which is right here. Put it in. Locked in place. And repeat for this side. Perfect. Okay. Alright, look who's back. Okay, so. Sure? Yeah. One side of the pack and play has little holes on both sides here. That's the side that the changing pad goes into. Take the two rods there, slide them in, push, push down, and you gotta push down on the, after you make the sound machine, lock these uh, side parts on. There, there, there. Now it's on. You got a changing pad. Look at that, fit for a baby. Goes up to uh, 35 pounds, I think, maybe 25. 
for the baby right there? Uh, 30. 30 pounds. All right. Now we get to assemble the fun one. All right, so the next part is assembling the napper um, and the bassinet assembly. So it comes apart like this, there's a piece hanging, <laughs> and uh, there's two sides to it. So we got the napper side, which has a little clips on it to hold you in. Hold your baby in. Hold the baby in, yeah. And then the sleeping bassinet side, which is just flat. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna push the napper side out, so it's all fluffed out like that, and look for, let's see, look for this hole right here. I know it's hard to see in the camera. Okay, but there's a hole there, and it goes around here and out to the bottom. Oh, the bottom. Okay. Alrighty. Ugh. We're gonna insert these guys. There's two of them. One on each side of it. Okay. Okay. I'm hold that. Nothing about. One side in. Something I didn't realize is that you can't take this apart and wash it. The napper? Yeah. Just spot you. And it's white, so that's fine. <laughs> And you do keep the foam on the uh, tubes that provides extra padding on the sides. Okay? You can't see it, but it's in there. Trust me, it's in there. So, the next thing we're going to do is put the two poles that we inserted, not the ones that are already in there, but the two poles we inserted into the top of this guy. And the top is the high side, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this guy, one side is higher. If you twisted it around, when it was, ooh, see, this side's lower. So make sure you use the high side. And just like the other parts, we're gonna take that, oh geez, <laughs> that hole there, the this guy, insert it till it clicks. And the other side. Mm. Uh. <laughs> insert it. Insert it. Until it clicks. Which is easier said than done. I gotta set it down. You having fun yet? Oh, it's so fun. Oh, it's so fun. It's getting hot in here. Where's the other end of the There it is. Get in there. Okay. Okay. Did it. Did it. Not easy, but we did. And then we're turning it around. So the bottom is showing. See those two poles there? Barely. Grab the other side piece. This one has a button on top here. And it allows for this to spin. So naturally, it doesn't matter which side you plug it in on this one, so that'll be fine. So attach the two poles, just like the other side, push one in, and this is going to be even harder than the last one, of course, no, maybe not. 
put it in, click. Now it's in there. Now what? Flip over to bassinet side. Flip them over to bassinet side. Again, bassinet side is the side with no things on it. All right, and we're gonna ins eh, gonna insert the uh, poles into this side. My camera died. Okay, back to this guy. Okay, poles. Put it in the holes until they click. Until they click. Until they click. Okay, click. And then repeat for the other side here. It says always start with the top first. You did the bottom first this time, but. Creepy people showed up at our door to talk to us about our roof, so we fixed that. <laughs> okay. I will note one thing here when assembling it. But I think uh, when we went to Babies Are Us, Babies Are Us, they did wrong, was the fact that this one side here has a high side, sorry, a high side and a low side is actually really important for the um, the bassinet side because when you put a baby to bed these days or whatever, they're supposed to sleep flat. Um, they could take a nap at a slight incline, but they're supposed to sleep flat, flat. So if you don't put the right sides in, when you get it assembled and into the um, pack and play, this side that's supposed to be flat will be at an angle and the napper side will be flat, um, which defeats the whole purpose of this. So make sure you got the right side, you know, the low side for the uh, bassinet and the high side for the napper. Okay. Backing up, now the next part legs. is the legs. Which need a knife for the zip tie. Make sure you oh, use your knife to zip tie them off. And your <laughs> other off. and your other knife to zip tie them off. Leg on one side. It'll snap in and then the other leg and the other side. Snap in place. Then you push them down just like everything else and snap them in place. And snap and snap. Good? To keep it from rocking. So apparently to keep it from rocking, one side of the legs has these little, oh, little so it clip things doesn't that matter, block but, out. Uh, the side that the little handle thingy is the side that had them in the picture, but I don't think it matters. Either. It keeps it from rocking back and forth when you're using it as a bassinet, I guess, flat on the ground. Because you can also take this whole thing and put it on the ground, or take it and put it on the uh, pack and plate. Uh, to rock, flip those rock stops back in. Rock there, stops? You can use the little electronics stop. thing on this too for the bassinet right. side. Now, you see he's rocking. Yeah. Wait, wait, we can illustrate this better. Since baby is not here yet, make sure to always buckle them in so they don't squirm them out. See that? Baby's rocking his sleep. Oh, don't cry. Oh, guys. Okay, now. Um, to attach it, it into here. So we have to take baby out. Take baby out. Flip to bassinet side. Um, and then insert it into the napper as napper mounts as shown, so the sides should just go on here and there. Alright. With the legs and how they are and everything. Mm. Okay, you see that? It just kind of sits down in there and clicks in. Now it's secured in there. Yep, check to make it short, secure by pulling up on it. 
Everything pulls up. Okay, so I'll demonstrate this. This button here, you push down, all right, and then you can turn snapper, or you can take it. And you flip it for the newborn bassinet mode. Bassinet. And to remove it, you just do the reverse. And then to remove it, yeah, you, there's a little button wait, wait, wait. Get the monkey in right seat. here. And on the other side as well, you lift up on them comes right out. Without the baby inside. Yeah. And then the mobile is pretty simple. Sorry, I already started doing it. Take the steering wheel part and you clip it right on there. And you got a mobile. The mobile goes on the napper just like that. There's a hole on the side. Just clicks right in. And then if you install the batteries and turn it on, and this goes. Do, 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 uh, parent organizer. Parent organizer. Parent organizer looks like this. It's got three pockets in it. And there should be two hooks left. And two hooks. And the hooks go in. The hooks, you can see them, like this, and they go into the slot away from the napper, just push them down in there, the other side, push them down in there, and then on the changing side, well, I feel like that's where it would be most useful. Is, yeah, where it would be most useful, just take these little hooks, yeah. Put it over just like uh, like e not like that. <laughs> Imagine it would probably be easier to put this on without the changing pad here, but it's totally possible to put it on uh, with if you know what you're doing, which is it even big enough to put like a wipes thing in? Totally know what I'm doing. Put that back in place. Oh, lock down. Oh, support. Okay. Organizer. Diapers. Wipes. Bottles or whatever else you want to fit. Eyes of fire. Baby. Baby. You change baby. Change baby. As you can see, we're no experts, but I hope that that assembly was a little bit easier than what this thing tells a little me. bit easier than the book it because changes. the book is not helpful. But you know, make sure you read all the instructions. Don't go just by what I said. Check out the book. It has warning. Has other stuff. Um, yeah. The end. <laughs>